Labour have made it clear that if they win the next election, they won't be getting rid of inhumane asylum accommodation like the Bibby Stockholm barge, at least not straight away. They've said the barge is not the solution, but also that they'll be lumbered with the policies and practices that the Tories have left them with. And given there's so far only one barge, and it will only house 500 people, that strikes me as a very weak excuse. But it's part of a pattern emerging where the Labour Party criticise a Tory policy, but say they won't get rid of it. Think North Sea Oil and Gas and the two-child benefit cap too. As someone who isn't afraid to call out both the Tories and Labour on this is Jeremy Corbyn. He told Sky News this. Forcing human beings who have escaped war and persecution to live on unsafe and overcrowded prison ships is morally indefensible. So too is the failure to offer a more humane alternative. These are human beings who are legally and legitimately exercising their right to asylum. That is absolutely true and rarely said in the media. We should be defending, not denigrating at that right. Political cowardice has consequences, and vulnerable people will pay the highest price. That's why I'm proud to stand alongside people in my constituency campaigning for an immigration system based on dignity and care. Sam, what do you think of Labour's position on all of this? I know I, I bash Starmer a lot on Twitter. People think I'm being unfair, and this was one of those instances I said on Sunday, I thought Labour's position on this was quite bad, quite weak. People said, well, look, they're only saying the obvious, which is they can't eliminate this straight away. That's true, but this is a single barge. It feels like they could be quite definitive here. What's your take? Yeah, I'd say I generally agree. Uh, it seems bizarrely technocratic, even coming from um, Starmer and his, his front bench. Like you say, you can't really dispute the sort of ins and outs of Labour's rationale. Like it will take time to get people off the barge into new accommodation, but in terms of media communication, um, it is it's incredibly weak to me. Your policy should try and embody the ideal, the sort of, and this might be quite a naive or fashioned view of politics, but it should inspire hope. You know, what is this radical new Brit Britain that we're going to see, or even not just radical, but just some moderate, meaningful change. Ultimately, my reflection on this in terms of why I'm quite worried about what Labour has said is that the one guardrail that they have currently is that this is a Tory failure and the asylum system won't be easy to sort out. And so Labour, when it gets into office, is going to be pummeled by the right wing press over all of this. And it will see its poll ratings starting to decline over the issue in order to come up with a better, rational, more humane system, Labour's got to stick to it, its guns or have some guns at all to stick to. It's got to have a firm ideological base. And I think this shows, um, once again, sadly, you know, I have to say, um, I'm less, um, you know, I attack Labour less than, than you at the minute, Aaron, but um, I have to say it's disappointing once again.